Om Swaha. So this is kind of a simple video on what house do you live in? For those who are just learning astrology, as you can see, my my uh, Christmas tree is still up because <laughs> even though I'm taping this on February the 26th of 2024, I take it down about a week after my birthday. My birthday is March 3rd. Um, but what, what uh, house do you live in is really determined on your exact birth time because the birth time is going to determine not only where the rising sign is that would set up the rest of the wheel, okay? It's going to determine what house the sun falls in. So example would be me. I was born at 1226 p.m. So because uh, the way that the times work on the cusp of the uh, houses, New time is way up at the top of the chart. And then, of course, you got midnight here at the very bottom of the chart. Um, and because I was born between noon time and two in the afternoon, my son would fall in the ninth house. So see what time you were born. What house do you live in? Because even though I'm a Pisces, uh, you know, if I wanted to be true to being a Pisces, I would have to be born between 6 to 8 a.m. Most people are not true to their sun sign. I'm a very 80%, 90% of, of those that you're going to do charts for. They were born at a time when the sun fell in a house that is not normally ruled by their sun sign. So I'm a Pisces Sagittarius. Because my son's very elevated, I would be more outgoing as a Pisces, even though I'm still maintaining, you know, a lot of the sensitivity of Pisces. I'm I'm much more outgoing uh, and less shy because I have my moon in Leo and that also helps. Um, if you're born between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., well, that means that your um, son would fall in the eighth house. Now, if you're you know, any sign at all, if you're in Aries and your son falls in the eighth, you're going to be an Aries Scorpio. Because why? Because Scorpio normally rules the eighth. So you have to take, I mean, if, if, if somebody's born in the sign of Aries and they're born between 4 a.m. to 6 a.m., then the sun would fall in the first house and they'd be true to their sun sign. They'd be a true Aries. So you have to have your clients or yourself, if you're just starting off, read about those two signs. So for me, I would have to read about Sagittarius and Pisces and put them together. Uh, most people uh, that I have one client that called had a lot of planets in Virgo. They said, I'm nothing like Virgo. I'm not shy. I don't, I like to be out and outgoing. But when I did their chart, the sun fell in the ninth house. So they are Virgo Sagittarius because the ninth house is normally ruled by Sag. So you really have to memorize the natural rulers of the sign without just the natural rules without the, any birth time. You have Aries ruling the first house. You have Taurus normally ruling the second. Gemini normally ruling the third. Cancer normally ruling the fourth. Leo the fifth. Virgo the sixth house. Libra the seventh. Uh, Scorpio the eighth. Sagittarius the ninth. Capricorn the tenth. Aquarius the eleventh. And then Pisces the twelfth house. So take take a look at that um, uh, time. When you, when you erect, what house does the person live in? So what house do you live in? And that will give you a good indication of where the focus is also. The main focus, the sun gets most of the attention. So for me, the focus would be the ninth house, which is being very philosophical, which I am. You know, uh, studying maybe a foreign country, which I have, India mostly. Um, I'm not bilingual, but some people are who have their son of the ninth. Uh, they have usually get for higher education, so a bachelor's degree, uh, PhD, although I have an associate's degree. I still studied a lot. You know, I've listened to a lot of PhD people and, you know, <laughs> professors. And this is a, a ninth house you can become a teacher. It's one of the houses of a lot of people go in as a profession of teaching, especially a professor at a college. Uh, so take a get a good look at the meanings of each houses and know those because where the sun falls is going to determine where the focus in that lifetime is the most of the focus not all of it so if the sun falls in the 10th house which deals with career the person is going to be focused mostly on career if the focus is more of uh, the sun falls in the seventh house the focus is going to be on one-on-one -on -one partnerships and having relationships and being sociable Excuse me, if the sun falls in the 12th house, normally ruled by Pisces, maybe in confined areas, they may end up 
you know, in a monastery or they end up working in a hospital or um, they may end up being more recluse in life, etc. So get a get a good feeling about the meanings of the houses. And then depending on the birth time, the exact birth time, the sun will fall in a house and that will determine what house you live in. All right. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to, to ask my email, my world, period, bliss at gmail.com. Uh, yogavisionaries.com is my website. And then click the subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and let your friends know these are free classes on astrology. It saves you a lot of time of having to figure everything out. I Most of my classes, all of them are free on my YouTube account. And I give you the, usually, the, I think it's about the 10 the most important things that uh, I'll have up about 10 videos. I don't think, I think this is the seventh one, if I'm not mistaken. I forget where I'm at right now. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Namaste. Om Swaha.